and welcome back to yet another Buffalo Blue Jays pregame show. It's your host, Randy Williams. Jared is here and analyzing all the facts, and we're so glad to the dozens of faithful viewers that we've had out there for these shows. Uh, it's been really exciting having baseball right here in Buffalo, even though today there was no baseball. The series is tied 1-1 against the, uh, the Red Sox after a no-show rainstorm. Yeah, it rained uh, yesterday, and they kept playing. But today it didn't rain, and they decided it wasn't worth it. Yeah. The winds were pretty severe. True. Uh, we, but looking forward, we're getting ready to face the Orioles, coming into Buffalo 14-16, and 16, as the Blue Jays are 15-14 and 14 at the start of the series. But I think the biggest bit of news is the addition that the Blue Jays have made uh, they have made traded with the Seattle Marlins for um, T Tijuan Walker for a player to be determined. Uh, any thoughts on the big acquisition here? Well, the Mariners were basically like kind of being like the mafia, quite honestly, because they were like, here, we'll give you uh, Walker, and then we'll just take a player later on. And that's the way I perceive it. Now, as you know, before – the Blue Jays came to Buffalo. I have not been much of a, a baseball viewer. So can you explain to me and maybe for the rest of the viewers what the player do be determined later thing is all about? Yeah, I think I can help out. Like in classic Godfather uh, tradition, uh, if the son of the owner of the, of the, of the Mariners gets killed, then the, the undertaker of the Blue Jays has to repair the body to be viewed at the funeral, right? Is, that's how it happens. I don't think that's how it works. I'm going to um, go ahead. The way it works is that there's a, a criteria established between the two teams based on, like, the usage of the player and how well they do. So if he gets a certain number of strikeouts, like, there's, like, a set value that is uh, – and as the player gets used more and performs better, then, like, the compensation is increased. Um, yeah. So th there is a structure that is established before the trade and, you know, if they only end up using the player two or three times, then the compensation package coming back to the to Seattle would be minimal. So it's uh, not quite as up in the air as a mafia favor would be. But but I understand the the uh, the, the the parallels. I'm glad it's fair. <laughs> or that's the goal. Um, going into the series, we don't have any official announced starters, but here in the Buffalo Blue Jays pregame, we've done some crack studying, and we think. Uh, the first game, we have Means versus Ryu coming up, uh, followed by Cobb versus Rourke, Malone versus Anderson in the third game, and Wojciechowski versus Walker in the fourth. Uh, any of these matchups stand out to you? Anything you're looking forward to in this series in terms of pitching matchup? Well, I, I look forward to seeing how Walker's going to do. He's going to have a decent amount of rest time and amount of time to get acclimated to the team, I believe. And, of course, this is our projected lineup. We're not sure yet. Rio was supposed to go today. Obviously, the game was postponed. So, to me, it makes the most sense that he just goes the next game. Uh, then you have Rourke and Anderson. They've had enough rest time. And then the next open spot, uh, spot um, would be for Walker. So, the cool thing is, is all the – starters get to play against the Orioles so there's no situation where we're bringing in a reliever to be the opener per se um that's what happened in one of the games we had uh Merriweather come in and uh be the opener they wouldn't even say he was a starter which I felt kind of bad I, I I'm like you know what? if you start the game you're the starter I'm sorry you're not the opener but that's just me I guess um and actually that was the game we won so um long story short I think most of the pitching matchups favor uh, the Blue Jays. Uh, we overall as a team have a lower ERA than the Orioles do um, by about a run. Um, and now as individually, that first matchup, uh, we're, um, the first pitcher has about a 10 ERA going up against Ryu, who has, I believe, like a 1.23 ERA right now. So that's that should be a domination right there for the Blue Jays the first game. Um, the rest of them are going to be a lot more even. Um, but the way I see it, and I'm kind of giving away my, my score predictions, but um, based on the pitching alone, we should be able to win about three of the four games based nice. on the pitching matchups. Uh, the runs per game and batting average between the two teams are pretty close, though, right? Right, yeah. And Now, the one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the runs per game is that we also have to remember that the Orioles have played a, a couple more games than uh, the Blue Jays have. 
So when you look at, oh, look at that, their runs are about the same. And the Blue Jays actually have that stat by a little bit more than, than the stats say because of the games in general. So, um, t- Having talked about games being uh, in previous in the previous series, uh, coming up uh, the first two games, Friday and Saturday night of this series, uh, there is some doubt, not, like 90% chance of rain both nights. Uh, so hopefully Ryu um, can be ready to go Sunday as well if needs 90% to. chance. So are, Randy, are you predicting that the first two games are going to be rained out? Um, I mean, it doesn't seem out of the possibilities at this point. Um, you know, with – the aftermath of the multiple hurricanes coming up this way, uh, it's going to be an unsettled weather pattern here in Buffalo, without a doubt. Oh, come on. Remember the last time that we dealt with a hurricane? Come on. We just need to hurry. That's all. Oh, great. Buffalo is really excited about this one as we batten down the hatches and prepare for the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. It was just a little bit of power and everything was fine. It might have rained, though. I remember. It was like eight years ago. All right. Well, hopefully we'll do as well this time. Uh, I believe it's your turn for the predictions for these series. Yeah. Um, okay. So, like I already said, um, I'm going to give the Blue Jays three wins and the, and the Orioles one win. Um, I think the Blue Jays will do really good the first game. I'm going to give us uh, – I'm going to go right by the ERAs. I'm going to say 10-1 to 1 Blue Jays for the first game. I'm going to say five to four Blue Jays for the second game, uh, five to four Orioles for the third game, and then uh, then one nothing uh, Blue Jays in the last game. Uh, Walker's going to come in and uh, pitch a shutout, basically. Well, him and the relievers and the closers, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, well, as long as he leads us to victory, that's what matters. Jared, we are in such parallel thinking. I have us with three wins of this series as well. Uh, 3-1, I got us for Friday. Uh, 4-5 loss on Saturday. 5-2 victory Sunday. And close up the series with another win on Monday, 6-4. So, go Blue Jays. Very good. Uh, after that, the team's away for a week and a half. So, we'll be back in early September. Uh, hope everyone stays well. And go Blue Jays. Woo! I don't even have anything to throw. Oh.